Good, e uh, good morning, good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the reveal? We are at the one, the only, McDonald Douglas 80, otherwise known as MD80 or the Mad Dog. Here we are. This, ladies and gentlemen, is probably the most funnest and most favored plane that I have ever worked on. And you are catching a first glimpse of it here in Tulsa, right up close. Matter of fact, you don't believe me. stuff guys this is the actual plane that they retired from American this is the last one in service you guys know that little beacon there it is that's that red beacon that lets you know the aircraft is about to move and guess what these are you all should know what this is This is your engine. This is a wing-mounted engine. They were fun to work on, though. You guys ever wonder where your poo and crap comes from? There you go. That's where it comes out. There's a little port in there that comes out right there. So, there you go. There's the tail, the rudder, and the thrust reversers. That little thing there comes out and goes towards the back of that fin there on the side and it creates a draft. So when it comes back, it acts like a drag parachute. It stops the plane because the thrust is going the opposite direction, hence the name thrust reverser. Uh... All right. So, let's put this in perspective, guys. Okay, I'm standing at the tail. Look where the, the nose gear is. Way over there. This is a long bird. It's huge. It's not as big as the MD-80, but it's, it's a big bird. This is the MD-80. Not that, that. 8380, I'm sorry guys. No, I'm, I'm, this is the Yeah, no, this is the MD80. Yeah, that's yeah. What I kind of realized. If you guys don't already know, that's my buddy Richard. This is the guy that I taught everything at the airport. Uh, we found a career at the airport and we have been sticking to it ever since. Hey, Richard. <laughs> Once you get something that you're so passionate about with the like, awesome people like Sean and the rest of the game that he's feeling at uh, KIAD, like, it's unbelievable all the stuff you can accomplish all at once. And I don't be anywhere if it weren't from him in front of Delta Airlines. Thanks, so, man. <laughs> and now you have a passion of love for trade to hate the You guys want to see something really silly? I'm about to show you my favorite part of this whole plane. And you're going to laugh at me and go, that's just silly and stupid. Okay? When the pilot taxis and lands, that light comes out and swings down. Right there. It goes and hits the floor. Well, not really hits the floor, but it points to the floor. Do you guys know your Mazda Miatas? You know how those lights pop out out of the hood? Well, that does the same thing. It comes right on down. It's pretty neat. All right. We're going to go take you up here. Up by the plane. So, yeah. If you guys don't already know, this wing doesn't have lights. So that's what we tell this thing as well. <laughs> well, they did have quite a bit, to be honest with you.
Yeah, so, huh. These planes typically have the engine right next to the passengers. <laughs> Trying to snooze. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> These engines make a lot of noise, guys. You can hear them a mile and three miles away. Well, I kind of didn't like those at Dallas because I let my piece of work, my Rolls Royce, and my General Electrics, and my Pratt Whitney's. But, uh, the CMFs, especially those gents. So, they, they just put this on display, guys. They've made this into an actual museum. They're, they've made a flight theater out of this. And if you want to come check it out, the MD-80, come on down to the Tulsa Air and Space Museum. All right. One last thing. So, let's go head downstairs, guys. I'm going to show you something really interesting. Uh huh. Tail. I want to next to you. All right. Oh, that's 18. Oh, this is 18. Oh, we're on the uh, west side of the airport. Now the east side is where you see Oh, there's like that. It's not the triple seven. It's not squished, which means it's not the triple seven. All right, you guys. Right here is the nose gear. You have these two absolutely intensely bright lights, right? So the nose, the nose gear folds up and goes up towards the nose, the front of the nose, which has got a lot of other components in there, but. The MD-80 actually had this mechanism right back here. I don't know why they took it off, guys. But they would store right here, and it would act like a brake. It would hold the plane in park, so there would be no need for a set of chocks in the front. Now, if you could if you wanted to, but it would be completely unnecessary because it holds the, the nose gear steady and firmly in place. So that was the only plane that did it other than the Boeing 717. Don't forget the place where you want to hook up the tow bar. Yes. So, you guys know when you guys push the plane backwards and you get that jolt, okay? So there's a mechanism and a piece of equipment and it goes right in here, okay? And it goes on both sides, okay? And that bar goes out to a tractor right out in front of the airplane and it pushes the nose gear left and right. See, we're in actually by an actual airport, guys. Plane is taxiing right there. You're between them. You're between two runways. Oh, don't forget about your GPU up there, man. The GPU panel. Oh, yeah. And we've got one more piece, um, guys. Do you guys know how your washer and dryer is operated at home? You guys have that plug, right? It keeps it completely powered, but you got to keep it plugged in all the time because it's it takes a lot of power, right? Well, guess what? Planes need that, too. Check this out. It goes right up in there. And you go, and it's cable and you stick up in there. It's pretty cool. I can't reach the air stairs. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, that is the air stairs. Yeah. We got them too. So right there was a set of hydraulic stairs that came out for easy access when it was not connected to a jet bridge. Because this plane is pretty high up. Alright guys. So that's the tour of the MD-80. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. And uh, we'll see you guys real soon. Alright. We'll catch you later. Adios. I'm out.